Still got the pores between layers. Rewinding the, the Iso Potter pump can't be done with the motor because it's very, very slow. They provide a little 3D printed adapter that you can put on your drill. And that's pretty quick, although it does mean you've got to get your drill out every time you want to use your printer. One of the advantages of the Iso Potter, it doesn't rely on the thread on the tube to hold the clay in place. These two screws on either side and they hold the tube in place. It's a lot more reliable, um, but it's a pain. It's a proper pain in the ass to do every single time. You get your ring, clay, and push it all the way in through these threaded rods. Put this end cap over the I'll screw in. It's nice to be able to just push it in and screw, as the actress said to the bishop. No, don't put that in. You can ask for a much higher speed on this printer than the motor is able to give. The motor will just stall. Wrap this up in cling film, seeing as the last time I used it, so it from drying out. These plasterboard, they're the most effective thing I've found to print on. I also use a cloth, spray it with a bit of water to help it lie flat on the board. Got to make sure that the board is in the middle. Two side patches are not part of the print area. You're constantly rushing to get this inside. Oops, this is a problem. Ah, uh, no, 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 off, off. Ah, shit. Already broken the nozzle. Beginning of the print, I've put a bit of code that lifts the nozzle up above the height of this. That's not in the G code that they suggest you use. One thing I'm really impressed with Ezo Potter is the smoothness of the layer quality as it prints. Direct connections between the clay and the extruder really helps with the smoothness of these layer lines. The Ezo Potter will print pretty nicely straight out of the box. As long as you... <laughs> 